Now, what are some of the side effects? Um, Irregular menses are very common, actually, and it's going to depend upon how you do the protocol. If you do the protocol and you do it as per the original protocol and you start your HCG after, immediately after menstrual flow stops, and then you finish that cycle of HCG before the next period in a menstruating female, you will minimize irregular menses and menstrual irregularities. However, because of the hormonal mechanism by which this works, irregular menses um, can still be a problem if you do it that way, but less so, but if, especially if you do longer courses, such as certain practitioners out there are doing 30-day courses, 40-day courses in menstruating females in which you would go straight through the cycle where the menstrual uh, flow is occurring, you will generate more regular menses and they will persist for a longer period of time. Also because of the hormonal mechanism of this, if you have a patient on oral contraceptives, they do need a backup form of birth control. There have been reported cases of unplanned pregnancies in women that were relying on oral contraceptives. So be sure that you're um, having your patients use a barrier method if they're relying on oral contraception and you're putting them on the HCG diet. Now, this typically does not cause new headache syndromes, but if a patient has had a history of migraines, they can have exacerbations during the HCG diet, and this is something to please make them aware of so that you, know, you can start prophylactic regimens, uh, what have you. Rare allergic reactions or edema, again, this is not very common. Hair loss is not uncommon, but it is typically temporary. It occurs in a very similar pattern um, to male pattern hair loss. This occurs sometimes with testosterone administration or replacement with uh, patients and um, occurs in that same kind of pattern. You can pre-treat patients with minoxidil. Uh, there are proprietary formulas. Um, one of the uh, vendors has one that has minoxidil and um, two or three other different agents, um, a retinoic acid agent, um, a glucocorticoid agent, and um, a natural form of a 5-alpha reductase um, type of um, um, substance in it and that will really help a lot with hair loss and I'd be happy at some point during a break to tell you about about what that is but um, that one is very good minoxidil by itself can be good topical saw palmetto you can have compounded can be good but again that's typically um, temporary and um, this reaction you should never see because you really shouldn't be having fertility patients in your weight loss practice, but there is a potential uh, drug interaction um, where HCG uh, interferes um, with um, this uh, fertility drug.